officer, 211 just occurred at 253 Main Street. You need to handle code 2, identify. This is 11K. We'll handle the call at Main Street. 11K, your 211 is at the bank of Arcadia, 253 Main Street. Hands off! I'm sick! Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. The vag says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you know! Not much of a witness. Sir, you need to tell us where they went. Now. They headed for the parking lot. Oh, that's a nice car. I'll go for the tires. That ought to slow the son of a bitch down. I feel like you wouldn't have crashed. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Oh damn, this is unlucky. As soon as we catch up to them, there's something. Let's see about over here. Okay. One track and stop. Coming up. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You drive. Can you drive to this one? Because we are very far away. Can you drive to this one? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Something wrong with the car? Can you drive to this one? This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Lynn says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Take it easy, Phelps. All right. I'd rather get there with one piece. This, this is fine. Some black smoke coming up from there. 
Plus one of the houses. We came as soon as we could. Come on, you can tell me. You sure that's not that crazy Lynch. cop that almost ran me Biggs, over? you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire... I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. That we already knew. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve... And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Uh, oh. Well, uh, maybe we can. What is this? System. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. So like that. All right. It is fine. Put it over here. Put this one over here. Didn't do it wrong or did we do it right? Phelps, you need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the results. So let's put this one over here. And this one. No. No, 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 hold on. What about that one in the middle? And this one. And then we go with this one. No, 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 not that. Again, Boy Scout. Boy Scout. Okay, let's go with what I did first. That. Uh, let's go with this one. Good. Your regulator's in position. Oh. 
Yeah, we're doing it right. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I have adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Hey, buddy, you dropped something? Well, that could have gone better. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman police, character? Police. This guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. This place far. It might get a dispatch. Oh, for God's sakes! Sorry. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. I was married by a judge. I was walking down the street and that heel sent me flying. Is there? You read about the Tarleton case in the paper? That's the cop who solved it. Poor kids. Losing everything like that. He's only a writer, so. Manager. There. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Yeah. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You don't. So you mean that there are no sketchy parts, it's original parts, and someone has just flipped that thing and then we have an explosion instead of cozy heat. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. 
Sure, of course they are. Can we catch him in the inner lie? I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. Are those fast? There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. I swear. This, this is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R and I, cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Ernesto. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one two four seven. How could I help, Detective? Uh, How? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens, Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Interesting. Ryan, Matthew. Charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. All right. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. This sounds dangerous. One of these days. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. No. Do you need a or something? No. Show him and keep quiet. I like our new partner a lot more. Keep talking. Someday you'll say Here. something intelligent. Happy now. Stick around, Mr. Rasik. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Not much help. Last one. The company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs.
You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. That's Mind stupid. If I, leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? A good question. Varley seemed to be the most interesting one out of the three. Should we just take them off one by one like that? You do. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. He's only a writer. Behind you, oh, great. him Biggs LAPD we want some answers and we want them quick okay okay what's this all about just tell me what you want you know Reginald Barley no can't say I do but you do Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder you want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. You were licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? That's not everything. Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in the settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. What did just happen? What did just happen? Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? 